Hello and welcome to Gardenville.tv. No, we're not in New Zealand. We are here in Ireland in the garden on a beautiful April day. Now, we're looking at a fern. That's all I can tell you. So Susan's going to have to tell us more about this. Okay, these are uh, tree ferns. This is Antarctica, New Zealand tree fern. And um, you were like sort of disappearing behind it. Why we're f uh, showing you this is we had brilliant weather uh, about a week ago, absolutely almost like sun summer, and then back to frosts again. So this fleece has been put into the top of the plant here, because the new fronds that c will come up for this year are all in here, and the fleece went in to protect them from frost, because this is where the damage is done if the frost and the cold in the winter gets in here. So you either put these old fronds up and wrap everything in fleece, or keep this all tightly you know, covered up with fleece to keep it warm and keep the frost out. Isn't that amazing? This is like the winter jacket. Yeah, well the camera April probably can't get in there, but there's these lovely soft furry sort of fronds waiting to come up in here. We're no. almost like, actually it's a bit like a tarantula or something, which I don't it like. It is, it's spiders. not the most, it's, it's an amazing, um, what is it, plant, tree, shrub? It's a fern. Yeah, it's, it's a, a fern. fern. What's all this here on the outside This is the, the trunk. They don't actually have a huge amount of roots. They take in most of their nourishment from the top. They just have enough to stabilise themselves. But this is the trunk of it, and this is the fronds coming out the top. Isn't that These amazing? have actually um, naturalised themselves in a little valley in West Cork. Wow. They seeded themselves and they've become naturalised. Does that mean that our climate is suitable for these? Well, they are. New Zealand isn't, wouldn't be a terribly unsimilar climate. Yeah. They're a temperate woodland plant and they just happen to be happy down There's there. There's something quite exotic about it, isn't there? Well, if you turn the fronds around, you could make a skirt for yourself. <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> you sort of feel this should be out in sort of coconut territory, or do you know what I mean? It's, I do, yeah. And they, do you know what's lovely? You can hear the rustle of it when the wind is blowing. Mm. It's really attractive. What intrigues me is putting the fleece on like this, and just, it's like putting your winter coat on. Yeah, so it's hilarious. It's protecting plants, you know, because we really, you know, if it's not growing under trees and things where it's sheltered and, and protected, this is what you do. Well, there you go. So if you're growing ferns and if you've got winter coats on your ferns, why don't you send us a few photos or video clips? We'd love to upload that onto our TV channel. Mm -hmm. So Gardenville.tv, Facebook, Twitter, we'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, we'll just put the coat on the ferns. 